Hello, welcome to another presentation from Ozen Engineering. In the exciting life of uh, design and analysis using ANSYS tools. My name is Mark Berkman and today uh, I'd like to talk about uh, a tool, uh, a design tool called uh, BladeGen uh, for uh, you know uh, dif different uh, purposes of uh, blades and impellers uh, it can be applied to. And uh, in this particular case we're gonna uh, lo look at a, a radial turbine blade design. Uh, so we have a current mean line design and uh, we come up with this design uh, by entering some operating conditions, some constraints uh, on the geometry. So with that uh, we want to uh, now go to a more detailed design in three dimensions. So the tool we want to use is called BladeGen, available from ANSYS. All right, uh, so now we have a blade gen session and once you open it, uh, what you'll notice is uh, four different windows and uh, I would probably call this top uh, right window the main window where uh, you can uh, quickly change, uh, change what you're seeing and probably you may want to keep these other three fixed and uh, kind of look at different things uh, using the top left window. BladeGen tool is particularly designed for uh, turbo machinery designers and it's a very uh, hands-on tool. It's very interactive and uh, you, you can um, essentially control the design uh, by uh, you know uh, clicking on the param on, on a line segment or a point and then you can change the profile of your uh, hub region or shroud region. Uh, so, you know, th this is in the meridional view, the top, uh, top left side. And then uh, also, you know, it's, uh, the user can impact the design uh, b b by pulling on the uh, points and uh, curves in these bottom two figures. So what I'd like to do is uh, quickly go over uh, you know so, some of the options and, and buttons and then maybe you know uh, play around with our design to give you a feel on how it works. Uh, so in our main window you know it's going to show a cross section a blade to blade view of our uh, design. Uh, we can very quickly switch to a meridional view. Uh, we can switch to, you know, um, information on the blades. Uh, we can look at, uh, you know, meridional meridional curvature graph. We can look at meridional fraction curvature. We can look at our uh, theta and beta angles. And as you Kind of go through these buttons on the left hand side uh, you, you'll see you know in the display this different properties of the uh, geometry of, of the uh, impeller all right uh, so you know let's uh, start with the, the top top toolbar or ribbon uh, so under edit uh, you can control how you want to move the points probably the default any direction makes the most sense but if you want to move perpendicular you know uh, vertically or horizontally only you, you can make the change here under model uh, under properties you know you can essentially give some nomenclature on who designed it give some background information on the design uh, you can work in the angle thickness mode or the uh, pressure suction side mode. Uh, let's see. So, and uh, here you have control over the angle definitions. Uh, you can change the number of blades here and uh, also here. I'm sorry. So, this is the blade count. And 
and that's pretty much it if we go to the blade we're showing main blade let's get back to our main blade to blade view we can add a splitter and uh, when you're adding a blade or a splitter uh, there's the blade property dia dialog which you can also uh, reach from here this this button here where you have detailed control of your leading edge trailing edge shapes cutoffs uh, hub shroud uh, ends etc I'm just going to hit cancel we can have a flank flank milled blade if we click on properties again it's going to bring up this menu uh, that I just mentioned so here are some more details about the distribution type which you can change I'd like to go to layers so right now you know uh, we're, we're at hub which means span zero if we go to 25% span as you can see in this top picture here the, this line is kind of colored blue so you can see that you're on this uh, on this curve and also you'll notice uh, the the blade is thicker at the root at the hub and it's getting thinner towards the shroud so we can switch between the layers this way and Another way to switch between the layers is clicking here. Maybe hard to see on, on, on the side here. And then you can switch between different layers. So layers are essentially, you know, diff different span positions. Okay. Uh, so you, you can do so, you know, so certain directional changes under tools. Uh, output probably is not that critical. We talked about the views. Uh, I think probably it's better to uh, you know sh show some manipulation on you know how how we can edit our our geometry. For example, if we wanted to play with our hub curvature, we can just kind of pull and drag, you know, for our experience on how to design, or you know we can click click on the shroud line maybe you know kind of make it move it interior and as you can see the inside segments are automatically adjusting on the fly and the blade shape is changing as well like you know as I play with this you can see the changes on the blade uh, so the region here to here it denotes where our impeller or our blade is this is our inlet side this is our outlet side so, uh, so behind the blade again you know we can click on a point and maybe you know change our shroud line and you know kind of give it a fancy shape if needed so I mean I, I'm obviously just playing around and these are pr uh, probably de detrimental to the performance but you know it's just for demonstration purposes so you can move the leading edge and the trailing edge of your blade this way you know and you can kind of see the whole impact on what happens at these particular spans uh, let's see another uh, way of uh, ch changing for example if we wanted to play with the blade thickness we can Keep the curvature here right now we kind of have this smooth nice thickness but you know for some reason I want to change it and what you can see is uh, you know the, the change in the blade shape and similarly you know if we play with the angles here what you see is a definite strong change in the angles we can go to 50% span which uh, here we don't have the power to change it so let's uh, let's see if we can make a change here uh, no so thickness is essentially you know controlled by the first layer so here as you can see you know we're making it thinner and thinner 
by, by playing with the thickness. So let's make it back a little thicker. You can see the impact there. And the blade angle again is controlled by the left side curvature. And you can see the immediate impact. Uh, you can, for example, uh, in this view, you can do a 3D view as well. So you can look at your blade in three dimension and using the uh, uh, options down at the bottom, we can look at multiple sections or the whole 360 design by clicking these buttons down there. Or, you know, we can look at shaded version rather than a mesh like version. Or, you know, we can align along X, Y and Z axis quickly using the view buttons down there. All right, so let's switch blade to blade view back. And um, let's see what else we can do. Oh, all right, under, under output, let's look at output layer control. This is, uh, remember we were not, were not able to change, for example, the thickness so let me close this for a moment at 20-25% uh, span. If we go to output layer control, thickness curves, what you can see is see we can make the change at uh, zero and at shroud offset, but not at 25% span. If, if we put a check mark here, and hit OK, we should now be able to control the thickness, not, not only here, but also at 25%. But so I'm just going to you know, make a real ugly thickness variation here. You know. So you can have you know, co control over this. can undo this. So uh, from output layer control, you can essentially control uh, where you can change the angle for curves, thicknesses, or what is output uh, to, to the uh, mesh generation tool. So what we see is information is passed on at every span that is defined here. I'll hit OK. And uh, I, I think this concludes our uh, presentation uh, into the deep dive of the Blade Jam tool on the uh, user interface, you know, uh, lo lo looking at uh, how, how we can manipulate our design. Thank you so much. Have a good day.